I don't wanna cook. <laughs> Pine and Crane. La Frontera. Jersey Mike subs. Eating out is so fun. It's good food plus good company. But let's be real, it can get very pricey. So, we're gonna cook instead. And actually try to make it fun. It's ladylike and we're gonna meal prep for a week. There was a period of my life where I was pretty unhealthy. I was just eating a lot of like instant meals and stuff like that. I've gotten really friendly with the Trader Joe's frozen food section. I love to cook. If my home is always stocked with like good drinks, good games, good food, I don't have to leave the house. And then I went through a phase where I was just like always eating out and I realized very quickly that I was saving no money. Eating out is mainly out of convenience for me. Without a plan, I think I just tend to Overcorrect. I think I just need structure. I think it's gonna be so fun to cook with Jen and Devin. I think if I had other people to hold me accountable, it would be great. I think cooking with Jen is gonna be great. I think cooking with Freddie is gonna be interesting. Oh, so Devin, she has thoughts about how I'm gonna be in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you just don't wanna be hesitant and you don't need to ask a lot of questions. And I feel like Fred's gonna ask a lot of questions and I'm not gonna have time for it. Devin's right. I'm excited for the camaraderie, I'm excited to save money, and I'm excited for some really good meals for the next week. I'm Mike, I'm a producer who makes ladylike videos sometimes. I used to not cook, ever. About a year ago, my friend Tilo, who is one of the original creators of Tasty, convinced me to start doing meal prep. She was like, no, it'll be fun, we'll do it as a group, we'll have some wine, it'll be a big social fun thing. I'm really excited to see how Freddie, Jen, and Devin do this week with meal prepping. So the way this is gonna work is I'm choosing a bunch of recipes as options for the girls to vote on. These aren't hard recipes. Mustard marinated steak, Parmesan crusted salmon, mm. mozzarella stuffed meatballs with zoodles, AKA zucchini noodles. Woo! I'm gonna make a shopping list for them so that we can all go to Trader Joe's together and get all the groceries. We're here at Trader Joe's. This looks like a weapon. Mike sent me off to get a jar of mustard, olive oil, and marinara sauce, but there's cheese over there. So maybe we should get some cheese. Sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? It's not, it's not on the list, Jen. Well, Mike asked me to go get a bottle of wine, but I think the world is better with two bottles of wine. Remember that one time you sent me to go get a bottle of wine? Yes. Did you notice that I got two? I wasn't gonna say anything because <laughs> I'm like, Devin knows what she's doing. She just she just wants she to get a little need. lit tonight. Devin's first meal prep, aka more wine. We're here at Mike's house. Look at this bountiful harvest of food. We can't get this bottle of wine to open. I've never seen a cork be that tight. I blame you for choosing this wine, Devin. It was 5.59, okay? okay? Yes. <sighs> we did it. I love that we're only using a third of a cup of this wine and the rest we're drinking. That's right. Devin decided to take the lead cooking the steak because she's cooked steak before and she felt confident with that. Freddie did a killer job with the Parmesan crusted salmon. She watched a video from Goodful, which is our Facebook page dedicated to healthier food. Look at that. I'm starved. Jen decided to take on the meatballs, being true to her Italian side. You sure know how to handle that meat. It's actually, it is, <laughs> it's one of the easiest Rolling things to make. Rolling sound? Excuse us, <laughs> Devin. I chose a presentation cutting board to cut this onion and not a workable cutting board. And look at that. Those are my scratches. Little love bites from Devin. <laughs> even chop parsley. This is really therapeutic and also pretty fallow. Yeah, it's a little fallow. <laughs> wow, look at that flaccid zucchini. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> Meatballs are done. Ooh. We have a lot of extra mozzarella. Give me some of those mutts. Look where I'm from. Some of those little wet mutts. I'm gonna go for it. Mm, thank you. This is a fun night. Yeah. What a beautiful world we live in. How do you guys feel? And it's nice because it's only 6.30. Because I'm about to grab all of the meat <laughs> with my hands <laughs> and just meat hand everything into my mouth. We got our wine, we had our gossip, mm -hmm. and these are tangible results of all your work. And Freddie, look, I, you cook. This is cooking. This you did I this. did it and I'm not exhausted. I don't know if I did as much as everyone else. No, you did. You made a whole entree. 
You do the salmon. You did yeah. the salmon. Look how beautiful oh, that right. salmon and is. And I did chop up the it's asparagus. asparagus. You did a lot. Yeah. And I did dishes. Mm -hmm. That's That's right. Right. You did more than I did. So which meal do you think you guys are going to eat first? Meatballs. See, I want meatballs now, but there's a part of me that's like, steak is best the first night. Oh, you're going to eat tonight. I won't eat tonight because I will, I'm going to, I'll go through the drive-thru. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's night one, and I'm gonna eat my first meal prep meal, which is the steak, asparagus, and broccoli. Should I eat the meatballs that Jen made that look delicious, the salmon that Freddie made that also looks delicious, or should I eat this pizza that's left over? Now, the steak, Devin's doing. She was in charge of the steak. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's so good. In terms of portions, this is definitely enough. I do feel like, wow, like I'm very full. I changed my mind, I'm having the salmon. This asparagus. I think Mike was in charge of the asparagus. Mmm, season to perfection. I'm just gonna eat my meal prep meal, and then I have lunch paid for by the office. I don't know, this is great, because usually in the morning I just eat junk food when I'm hungry. Dipping the zoodle into the sauce, okay. Trying it, see how it goes. It kinda tastes like bad pasta, but excellent zucchini. <laughs> the real piece de resistance here, the meatball. There's no better thing to be doing than eating a meatball at 9.30 in the morning. I've mainly been using these meals for dinner, not really for lunch. Um, I think for me, dinner works best because after work, I'm usually really tired. I don't really feel like having to stop or figure out what to eat, and this is perfect. So it's evening number two. I am on my couch. Zucchini noodles, the zoodles, if you will, are delicious. I never had zoodles. I feel like zoodles, that's some LA shit but it does give me a carb vibe. It's really nice coming home and knowing that dinner's already cooked for you. Wow, that's really good. To be honest, I was a little bit hesitant because I didn't know how good fish would be on like day two or three, but damn, it's really tasty. And the asparagus too. I'm definitely loving the fact that I come home and just have dinner ready after work. Most times I just really wanna go home and stay there and if there's nothing to eat at home, it's like a Postmates thing, which then is like $30 delivery charge. When you meal prep with a group of friends, you can trade meals so you don't have to have the same thing every night, which is genius. But meal prep has been great. You save so much money, you have so much fun and you just get to eat good food. And just having this food ready to go is dope. We've got, got merch. merch. Click here to buy it. Spoon! 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 Spoon!